need. As you can see here, it's at 1900 megahertz roughly. I mean, obviously it's adjusting the megahertz speed. You can see the megahertz right up there. It's currently running. Uh, I'm currently just running a 3D Mark benchmark. Just, just, this is right out of the box. I've literally done nothing to this driver yet. So if you come over here and look at my second monitor, You'll see there is no altered settings. The core clock is still at just default. The memory is at default. In fact, everything's at default. So it seems to go between about 1850 megahertz to about 1950 megahertz. Um, this is with me doing nothing to this card so far. I haven't done anything other than install it and turn on the benchmark and just you know see what it's doing see how it's running then if i come over here and this is the sound of the fans as you can see the benchmark is running hopefully this little camera picks this up but it's really 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 quiet this is adding nothing to the overall sound of my PC. I mean, yes, my PC does look like shit. I get that. I've been playing like this for about 20 years, so I'm too old to give a shit about having a computer case. So don't fault the card for that. That's just me being weird. But the fan is very quiet. So let's come back over here, give you an idea of the fan speed. Current temperature is 69 degrees Celsius. The benchmark is swapping over to graphics test fire strike. So as you can see, the fan is at 24% still. Now, it is under load again, so as you can see, it's still somewhere around the 1850 to 1900 range. I mean, it's going to adjust the clocks, you know, depending on how cool it's running, and it does seem to run very, very cool and quiet, which is really nice. Um, the CPU I have in here is the Ryzen 3700X on the Gigabyte Aorus 570 Master with 16 gigabytes of, uh, I think it's called Guile or Geel or something like that. I'm, I've never heard anybody pronounce that name, so I don't know what the RAM is called, but it's just RAM. It's no big deal. But as you can see, that's, I mean, it's, it's right out of the box. It's right around 1900 megahertz, pretty much on average, pretty consistently. So this was my fire strike score. This is with a 3D Mark demo. I have never bothered to buy this. I just run Firestrike and Time Spy sometimes. Um, 
all the drivers and BIOSes are current as of August 1st, 2019. So I did update the BIOS and the drivers and the chipset driver yesterday. So they're, they're as current as they can possibly be. Um, this is with a 3700X, which you can see here, and a 2080Ti, the MSI Ventus. Um, nothing has been tweaked on this. I haven't done a single thing to this setup yet. So this is right out of, basically right out of the box. And the interesting thing is the core speed is just showing up really, really high. I mean, it's almost basically saying 2 gigahertz on the core, but the advertised uh, boost clock is 1630, so that's really cool. Anyways, I know the 3D mark is no big deal. It, it's really not the benchmark you want to go to for actual real-world um, uh, results and such. But if you're just looking to make sure that everything's working and that, you know, your hardware is doing what you hope it's doing, 3D Mark is fine for something simple like that. So this seems to be where it's stable. At plus 135 on the core, plus 1350 on the memory. The driver is set to performance. And other than that, nothing else has been altered. As you can see here, the core voltage and the fan speed are still default. So here's just an interesting little note. With the game with Shadow of the Tomb Raider absolutely maxed out on every single setting. I mean, yeah, it's 30 something frames per second, but the funny thing is, is my previous card, the 1070 Founders Edition, when it was heavily overclocked, was getting about 30 frames per second at absolute minimum settings. So this card, I mean, yeah, I'm never gonna run it with RTX on. It's just, it's a feature I just cannot tell if it's doing anything, you know? It, it's just premature, premature to the market, so it just doesn't feel like it gives any value to the games or anything like that, but it's there if you wanna try it. But this card, when everything is absolutely maxed out, runs about 30 something frames per second. And my previous 1070 running absolute minimum was running about 30 frames per second. So that's kind of funny. I don't know. I, th I thought it was. <laughs> 